I just sold this really cool western hognose snake. But how do I get it to my customer? Go to ShipYourReptiles.com. They can help you with any of your shipping needs. Where do I get shipping supplies and all that stuff, though? Just go to ShipYourReptiles.com. They have all that stuff. They have all the supplies you need to ship your animals and can help you get your animals from you to your customer. All right, so I'm gonna show you the second technique. And you actually, you can use this one combined with the first technique. Uh, Brumadium works really, really good because they're so slow and relaxed and you can just push on them and their muscles can't really resist and the must just flows out. Uh, now with this method, I'm gonna be running her underwater and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be doing with a few different examples. She just has uh, early onset in large musk glands. So she's a pretty good candidate. And we're just gonna get some water running. It can be either cool or warm. I usually just kind of do the cooler temperature. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do almost like a popping uh, technique. Except, uh, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Not a popping technique. I'm gonna be opening up her musk gland because uh, you don't want to treat this like you're popping them. Uh, you can damage, this, you can injure the snake. You possibly even kill the snake if you rupture the musk gland. You don't want to do that. Um, you're not gonna to want to push them down here. Like you'd, what you think it'd be like popping a snake, popping a snake method, that is wrong. That is uh, completely incorrect. What you want to do is you want to have the anal gland kind of pulled back, have that cloaca open a bit, and you want to massage right at the top, that entrance by where the musk gland openings are. And you just want to get that nice and loosened up and relaxed. And I'll do a rhythmic pressure on it. And when I push, I'm actually going to push, kind of like in a pinching motion. I'm going to push, look at that. See how easy that came out? I push very close to where the openings are. Because if you push down here, you're just putting a ton of pressure on there. So I'm getting these to open up. And I'm doing a pinching motion, just kind of right there. Most of it we already got. Her musk plants are like really small, but they were filled up. Um, you could see there was a bulge there. And sometimes it'll be loose and bay. Like you, actually, there's some more flooding out right there. So I'm just kind of pushing it. And again, I'm like, look at where I'm at. I'm right at the top. You think you'd want to push down here? You do not. You can injure the snake. You're going to make things worse. Um, you can rupture the musk gland. When you push right at where the openings are, you're helping squeeze out where the mechanism, where they push the musk out at. So you don't want to try to, you know, do it the wrong way, of course. So you can see there, her tail's a little baggy looking, and it'll actually, in a couple of days, look back to normal. And uh, she did really well with that. Good job, girl. All right. Yeah, so you don't want to get the musk glands, uh, you don't want to wait until they get super enlarged. The more enlarged they get, it can get harder to push it out. Uh, and some people ask to or, or wonder why, actually people wonder why, why they get the enlarged musk glands. I'm not exactly sure. It's only seen in females. Um, I think it has a lot to do with diet. Uh, you know, even if they're in bioactives or very clean setups, like I have ones that are in pristine setups, some get it. Uh, some don't. The majority of mine don't get it, but over time, you know, I'll get ones with a little bit. And if you get it early like this, they will fill back up, but they won't be as bad the next time. So with her, I might have to drain them like every few months. All right, so we're going to express this female's musk gland through a different method other than brumation. What I'm going to do is hold her underwater. I'm going to kind of open up her cloaca a bit. I'm just bending and kind of putting some support there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use my thumb to massage the musk gland openings, the ends of them right here. So, and I'm gonna actually, when I push, I'm gonna push closer to the end of the musk gland. Because you push down here, you're just putting a bunch of pressure. You don't wanna do that. Like you're popping a snake, that is very wrong. You want to be close to the top by the entrance of the musk gland. Because you wanna be pushing by the opening of the musk gland. And so I could even start pushing now and nothing's really coming out. But what I'll do is, to get the flow, is rub in a rhythmic motion like this. And what I'm trying to do is just loosen it up. And that rhythmic motion is very important to this. Because you can even take ones that are really difficult and you can get them to express. And it's a good idea to remove from the water every now and then just to make sure, you know, you are getting some progress there. So right now I'm not really pushing, I'm just kind of working on the opening of these musk glands just to get them relaxed. So I'm gonna push right up near the top. 
she's a pretty tough one. So she's a good example. So I don't want to press too hard. You know, I'm not going to just keep like forcing it. So if it's just not coming, I'm not going to apply more pressure. Just going to rub the top of these. And you can kind of feel when it starts to come out too, usually. See, and actually when I started pressing closer to the top, actually some started to come out. And then once you do get some coming out, you can kind of go work down the ways and kind of like, and you're doing kind of like a pinching motion here, just applying pressure. You don't want to do it on her sides. You want to kind of do it almost like underneath where her ribs are going to be down there. So, see, and I finally, this is a really good one actually, just because this she is a really difficult one. It's usually way easier than this, but this gives you a good example. And it seems like her muscles are kind of small, they're like really close together. So, and even the progress I'm making, like there's actually like some coming out, you know, here and there, but most of it's getting rinsed down. There we go. See, now look, it's really flooding out. And I'm just using colder water here. If you know, use like slightly warm water, that's fine. I don't think there's uh, gonna be a difference. Actually, when it's colder, their muscles relax. Um, warm water can relax their muscles too though, so either one's really fine. Let's see, I'm just like pushing there closer to the top. I just keep draining all that. And there's actually, yeah, a lot more coming out. She has some pretty expanded musk glands. They weren't like terrible, but you want to get them before they expand too much. Because once they get really big, the one thing is they will keep coming back. Once you empty their musk glands like this, they'll always refill back up. So you kind of have to periodically do this. All right. And so she's done. She looks a lot better and it does look like a little like you know irritated there from being pushed on but she'll be back to normal in like a couple days and you just don't want to force it you know you don't want to accidentally rupture that musk gland or do anything like that so we got this girl here you can see um you actually wouldn't think she has enlarged musk glands she actually does not um but they are filled up so i can express them so i'm just going to show her as an example uh to how to express you know, even like in large musk glands that are like on the smaller side. Although it, with hers, nobody would actually consider that in large musk gland because there's no visible signs that it's expanded. So I'm going to run her underwater. And again, you know, open up that anal plate. The top of her musk glands are exposed. And just do a rhythmic, nice like massage right at the top. Just trying to get them working to get them loosened up. And again, when you go to push, it's not like you're popping a snake. You know, if you go down low, popping a snake, it's incorrect. Um, you're going to be putting a lot of pressure on there. That's unnecessary. And um, you're not making any headway because they're musk glands, the opening's at the top. So you want to put pressure at the uh, openings. And so when you're massaging and then you start pushing, still doing some massage here before I push she's tensing up a bit so that's one reason too when, when you have them cooled down so this is the other method other than you know uh brew mating So we're probably not going to get a ton of musk because like her musk glands are pretty, you know, they're not really filled up. She's never had enlarged musk glands. Some females are more predisposed to it. See, and look, I'm pushing like 
right up near the top there. And that's how I'm getting that success. I'm doing kind of the, the pinching kind of motion where I'm just kind of like pushing in. He's resisting me a bit. But she doesn't have a lot of moss, so we don't have to try you know, like, you know, to get too much out of there. I think that's about it.